people of the purple butterfly here otherwise known as people of seven on twitter and youtube people are elsewhere or on the internet my blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot blackspot dot com and my soaps purple butterfly soaps can be located at people dot etsy dot com and i'm still full the blessings just keep coming <laughs> But I went to put my teeth in in a hurry because it was going on beyond dinner time and I hadn't eaten and I was getting that funky feeling I get. So I made sure I was able to eat, but apparently I got a little water or something under. So I keep salivating. It's like if it's the first time I've wore the teeth. It's getting rather irritating. But I've come to do the takedown video of the um, mini Marley style twist. And I didn't want to, you know, shock everybody with, hey, she ain't got on no teeth. You know, look back a few videos. <laughs> y'all can get y'all feel of that there. Because today, you're going to see the teeth. Anyway, my hair is snagging on this sweater. So taking down the twist with this will grab all the little strands of my hair sweater. That's not going to happen. I keep wanting to take off my reading glasses, but these are not my reading glasses. These are my glasses. <laughs> I also catch myself looking over them. But anyway... Um, the pattern is by Minnie Marley. It's a row here, a row here, and a row back here. I used, hold on, I have it somewhere here. Oh, well, we'll wing it. I use some of my 14 and 1, some olive oil. And my Eco Styler gel, I mixed it all up as um, like a pomade. And that's what I used to hold the set. But anyway, I'm going to take it. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me put some moisture on my fingers. Because you really never, never, never want to take your hair down from twist or braids or even just to style it without putting some oil on your hands or your moisturizer or whatever to provide slip and, you know, to make it easier to get through. So, let's see what we get. I like already. Actually, kind of get too much, so we'll just, yeah. That's remarkable. Who would have thought it'd be that simple? Let's take down one in the front so you can really see. This is supposed to give you maximum curl definition. And I don't know about maximum curl definition, but I can tell you that has no frizz at all. None. Oh, by the way, when I undo twist, I twisted the opposite direction first. So that way, it's easier to get loose. And now I'm just pulling them out and twisting them in the same direction they came out. So that way, that also minimizes the twist, if there will be any. Those are my bangs. Apparently, they've grown a little bit. But look, you can see the movement. 
Oh, I'm getting excited now. And that's why I always twist in opposite direction when I start so it doesn't tangle up either. I'm usually not impressed by twisting techniques, but I got to admit, yeah, I'm very impressed with this. It stayed up for about mm, three days. A lot of people do this for like the overnight. Um, I put these in on Friday, so that way it will be ready by Sunday. And I didn't take it loose on Saturday night, so Sunday it was just <laughs> in the twist. And this is Monday, so I'm thinking they sat long enough. Looks like I get a jerry curl. That's pretty impressive. Now, had I known about this technique at the time I was actually getting jerry curls and all that stuff, this would have saved me a whole bunch of money. <laughs> and since this is my natural hair, if it gets wet or whatever, it'll just curl more into this same pattern. So it works out and I still save a whole bunch of money because I don't put chemicals in my hair. That went away 30 years ago. Actually, I can tell you when my last perm was. It was February the 8th in the year 2000. That was the day of my thyroid surgery. It was melting off anyway every time I did my hair. We found out later it's because of the thyroid. So basically it was like, well, new beginning. So I just never put chemicals in it again. In fact, I've learned how to make my own soaps, my own hair products, everything. Wow, nice. It's actually longer than I remember. So, even though it's been twisted up for the better part of a week, it's maintained its shrinkability, so it doesn't look as long as it is, but I can tell. Let's see. And more than likely, I'm going to twist it back up in this pattern. Because a lady at the store went, oh, I love your hair. And I went, but they're just twists. She goes, and I still love your hair. This is a cool hairstyle. And it never occurred to me that this can be considered a hairstyle. I was just setting my hair in a pattern. Okay, that takes care of the ones that goes around here. Then there's these three here. And then the rest are short rows. So we'll see what we get. But I admit I do like what I see thus far. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, because I'm not going to sit here and let you be tortured by watching me do this for 15 minutes. <laughs> More than the 10 minutes that's already transpired. I'm thinking I'm going to come back and let you see the finished product but yeah this will work and because there is a styler involved it is holding a lot better than if I just twisted it and left it so 
Next step would be to separate even more and so forth and so on. But yeah, I like that. I'll probably do the finish downstairs where there's much more light. So be on the lookout for that. This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube. People are elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located purplebutterfly peopleblogspotcom And my soap, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at peopleblogspotcom Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned. Bye now.